Yeah, I was having everybody hack a glen head, chilling out, max out, doing my thing, just repping Joker gang. All right, so we about to be talking about Flipper Zero and ransomware. Now, can you actually put ransomware on somebody's computer with a Flipper Zero? Now, of course, this is for educational purposes as well as concerning purposes. Like, people were messaging me and they were asking, hey, if someone has a Flipper Zero, can they put ransomware on my computer if they plug the shit in there? Now, they just want to know that because they know their family member uh, messes around with a lot of scripts and they want to make sure that they should have secured. So, for one, let me help you understand. You can use the Flipper Zero at what's called a bad USB or a rubber ducky. Rubber ducky pretty much means you can plug that shit into the computer and you can run scripts. Now, on here right now, you see the bad USB. I can't actually show the actual um, files the way that I would see it on a Flipper Zero, mainly because as long as it's plugged in, I can't use the rubber ducky feature well, while QFlip is plugged up, is what I meant to say. I got to close down QFlip. But check this shit out. So you see right here, these are the different scripts I have. They text files. So that's some shit that you wrote on Notepad and then the Flipper Zero can maneuver with it. Now, if you understand how to maneuver through a computer and command line, you can write you some Flipper Zero scripts. So peep this shit, right? Now, you can, you know, use this bitch to use PowerShell. And you can get ransomware like that. Now, a lot of ransomware is mostly made in, like, C++ or Python. It's one of the more powerful ones. Like, this one's one of the more powerful ones, right? So, once again, though, you can run it in PowerShell as well, where you have a script on a Flipper Zero, you click it, and then it just runs. Now, that's a way that someone can put ransomware using a Flipper Zero onto your computer. And I'm talking about... They can just sneak right into the building. You know, I got to talk about some gangster shit. Yeah, I know. So let's say if I want to fuck up somebody's whole network, uh, let's say a competitor of a business I work for, sneak into that uh, server room, plug this bitch in, run that shit. It'll fuck up one of the computers. Now, worm capabilities, I'm not sure if you can make it on PowerShell. I, I'm not sure about that. No, you can do it in uh, Python. I just never tried in PowerShell. So if you're able to actually have ransomware and give it worm capabilities to where a worm pretty much operates off of, it finds vulnerabilities to a bunch of computer and installs itself. If you have that capability on that shit, then pretty much you can plug that shit in and fuck up someone's whole network just with the Flipper Zero. So the Flipper Zero can be used as a tool to transform, transfer ransomware and shit. Yeah, that shit fire. I already know. See... The Flipper Zero in the hands of a hacker can, can be the most powerful thing. A lot of people that were using this thing weren't hackers. They're were just people that wanted to live like watchdogs. They didn't understand data, how things travel, how things really work around this motherfucker. They never even knew that shit. That's the reason why the Flipper Zero in the hands of somebody like me can cause all type of devastation on jokers. So anyway, y'all, talk to you later. That's what's going on with the Flipper Zero. Now, once again, if for safety purposes, I got to talk about two sides. Yeah, I can show the gangster side where you can go in and fuck somebody's shit up, um, you know, cost them millions of dollars. I can talk about that. But I also got to talk about the safety side. Make sure you don't let nobody randomly plug this shit into your computer because it can't fuck it up. Like on the real, on jokers. The Flipper Zero, you plug that shit in, and then it depends on what type of scripts you use, too, can get past behavioral detection. Behavioral detection is pretty much the shit on your antivirus. Like, if it starts, if it um the program starts issuing too many random commands, it'll halt it. Some scripts you can write on the Flipper Zero, you won't, it won't actually halt the shit. So be real careful when you're allowing people to plug it, plug that shit in there. Because, man, a Flipper Zero can transfer some wicked shit and destroy your whole fucking network, son. Yo ass worth billions? Shit. Yo ass gonna be worth about five million after we done. Jokers, baby.